This is Larry Henares making your day with part 54 of a book I wrote on Philippine history. Chapter, Fatso was bluffing. Fourthly, Fatso, do not give us that dung about your spending $200 million a year purchasing Philippine products because we spend much more on tax-free PX goods, about $600 million a year, which is smuggling on a monumental scale. Not to mention the social cost, the moral degradation of our youth in your nightclubs and cat houses, the heroin, opium, cocaine, gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis, AIDS, women abuse, children abandoned. Fifth, O oh, portal to the sigmoid colon, you will spend billions one way or the other, whether paying us rental or by rigging our elections propping up pro-American dictators, sending in the Marines, or by duplicating the facilities of Clark and Subic elsewhere. You are bluffing, fatso. Again, we watch options on television because it's the funniest show in town. Funnier than Dolphy and definitely more hysterical, albeit less intellectual than Mongolian barbecue. This time, the menage a trois, two Americanophiles, and one nationalist, Rudy Romero, Tony Abaya, and Teddy Durin Benigno, respectively. Again, without a guest to bully, started to act like the three stooges. The subject was Basis Treaty. Now, Teddy Benigno opined that the Cold War, which is raison the terror of the American bases collapsed with the Communist Party in the Socialist world. The $203 million, zero debt relief, and textile quotas offered by the Americans are piddling compared to the $3 billion each being paid to Israel and Egypt for landing rights. The debt condemnation of half of Poland's $33 billion debt and half of Egypt's $22 billion debt, official, uh, Teddy insists, and the 3 billion textile quota to China was able to extract from the United States to let the Americans have the basis beyond 1998 simply is too embarrassing for a nation scheduled to celebrate the centennial of its declaration of independence. More about this after these messages. This is Larry Anaris making your day with part 54 of a book we wrote on Philippine history subject, Fatso was bluffing. Now, Tony insists, Tony Abaya that is, insists that the Bases were there before the Cold War and should be there thereafter as long as the Americans are willing to pay good money for the privilege. Good money, he defines, is half the cash we demanded for both Clark and Subic. That's crazy, said Teddy Benigno. Subic is thrice more valuable than Clark and our negotiators are lousy. <laughs> Poor Tony. Teddy made him look as if he is supporting colonialism and greed. Now, Rudy Romero is the worst. He proceeds from the premises unsupported by hard evidence that without the basis, the Philippine economy and military security will collapse. Other nations like Thailand and Indonesia have survived and prospered without bases. That U.S. bases are absolutely essential to our security. Against whom? and to the American role as world policemen. What about collective security under the United Nations? Their objections of the anti-basis coalition are mainly political rather than economic. How about the IMF conditionalities and the U.S. anti-industrialization policy toward our nation? That anti-basis senators will capitulate on the threat of electoral defeat that means Recto, Diokno, Tanyada were continually elected to the Senate even when tagged as anti-American. That the Filipino people's opinion must prevail. 
people in the streets showed appalling ignorance and brainwashing, and only the Senate is authorized to ratify the treaty. Now, Teddy Benigno, former sports writer, Agency France, uh, Bureau Chief and Press Secretary, speaking perfect French and far superior in intellect to the biddies and white trash of the U.S. Embassy, gives the Basis Treaty a 50-50 chance of being ratified. Tony, a former bookstore owner, so unlike nationalist uncle Hernan Abaya, and today's most pro-American writer says that the chances of the treaty will not be uh, ratified. Rudy Romero, of a land-owning family with a law office and an economic consultancy serving foreign companies, and for a long time under retainer at the Central Bank, according to the sources in Congress, is willing to take bets for the ratification of the Basis Treaty. More next time, my dear friends. This is Larry Anares making your day, saying good day, God bless you. Thank you very much for being with us. Till next time, hasta la bye bye.